Meanwhile, fresh twists emerged in the political killings of RSS worker in Kerala. India today has accessed an FIR copy in RSS leaders' killing in Kerala's Palakkad. The FIR on Srinivasan's murder has confirmed the assailants arrived in three vehicles and that the murder was retaliatory. Meanwhile, protests have also rock, it's rocked Palakkad town over killing of RSS worker. Police has identified six assailants who hacked RSS worker to death and barged into Srinivasan's shop around 1 p.m. to kill him. In fact, uh, meanwhile, SDPI has now denied any involvement in this murder of the RSS worker. Srinivasan has deep wounds on his body and there were three injuries on his head. He was killed at his own shop in Palakkad town. Kerala police has now nabbed five conspirators who allegedly took part in this conspiracy to murder the STPI activist Subair. Subair has been hacked to death while returning home and his father, after offering uh, prayers at the mosque, prohibitory orders have been issued now in Palakkad in wake of dual political murders. The order will be now in effect until 20th of April. This is the ISI Prayujit Jihadiyon ko wahaan ki communist sarkar paal rahi hai उसके कारण केरल जिसको ईश्वर का राज्य कहा जाता था उसको शैतानों का राज्य बनाने में किसी प्रकार की कमी केरल की सरकार ने नहीं की थी जिहादी शैतानों को पालने पोसने और उनका चारागाह बनाने का कुकर्म कम्युनिस्टों ने केरल में किया हुआ है let me cut across to India today's correspondent, Rickson, joining us live for more on that from Palakkad. Rickson, uh, you know, we're looking at a killing and then a counter-killing. This is, this is almost in retaliation is what uh, the, the, the sense that the police department give us. And of course, the allegations made by the BJP. Give us a timeline of events. What's really happened? What action has the police taken? Well, absolutely. Uh, you know, after a short uh, gap in the state of Kerala, you know, we witnessed two brutal political murders. Uh, you know, a couple of months back, uh, we have seen uh, similar uh, political murders in the Alapi district. Uh, there also we have seen first an SDP activist hacked to death. Uh, up, uh, you know, after a couple of hours, you know, we have seen another RSS activist also hacked to death. Uh, that was in uh, that was a situation in Alapi. Just two months after the similar situation here in the Palakkad district also, uh, you know, day before yesterday, an SDP activist hacked to death uh, while he was traveling with his own uh, father and we have seen you know deep injuries on his head and also in his leg uh, almost uh, more than you know uh, many injuries were there in his body uh, you know it was a uh, day before yesterday and we have seen uh, that was uh, that was an SDP activist that was an SDP activist hacked to death in Palakkad you know just after a few hours what we have seen is that another senior RSS leader hacked to death in Palakkad so uh, we access the uh, you know copy of the FIR if we are clearly saying that it's a retaliatory uh, you know, it's a uh, retaliatory. But on the other side, both SDP and BJP saying that they have no role in these murders. On the other side, you know, the points now fingering towards the Home Department, which was, uh, you know, the portfolio of Chief Minister Pradai Vijayan. Uh, opposition leader, uh, you know, K. Sudhagaran and also BJP State uh, President, uh, you know, K. Surendran alleged that, you know, uh, the police is not taking uh, necessary action uh, to prevent these type of actions uh, in the state. On the other side, BJP stated that they will approach centre uh, regarding this. On the other side, Union Home Minister Amit Shah is also visiting the state on uh, 29th of this month. So then, uh, that time, BJP will raise this issue before the you know, Union Home Minister. And uh, prohibitory order issued in Palakkad district on uh, 20th of April. On the other side, uh, the state government has called an all-party meeting tomorrow to discuss these issues. But, uh, but BJP has not reacted to this yet. BJP said that, you know, uh, PFI uh, was cl clearly, you know, uh, you know, involved in this uh, political murder. Then BJP is not ready to have a discussion with them. Right. You know, they, they stated that they will take a final decision regarding the participation of them uh, by uh, today uh, right. evening. On the other side, the latest we are getting is that 900 police officials from Coimbatore, uh, from Tamil Nadu is also uh, uh, coming to Kerala you know, because you know, the district is on high alert, so the police is, uh, the home department is deploying more officials in the district of Palakkad, uh, Chaiti. Rickson, thank you very much for joining us with those details. Now, political killings continue to haunt Kerala. RSS worker was killed in broad daylight just a day after an SDPI worker was hacked to death. This comes as a second political murder in Kerala in just a span of 24 hours. With the BJP now trading its guns on the Vijayan government, politics has now peaked over brutal murders in Kerala. Let's have a look. First, an SDPI worker.
than an RSS worker. Two gruesome murders in two days have shocked Kerala. On Friday, an SDPI worker, Subair, was hacked to death. It is believed that the murder was in retaliation to the killing of RSS activist Sanjeet last year, who was killed in front of his wife on November 15, 2021. Just a day after SDPI workers' murder, RSS worker Srinivasan, a former SSP, was murdered in a similar manner inside his shop in Palakkad. BJP State President K. Surendran blamed SDPI for the murder. Today afternoon, an innocent RSS BJP activist was brutally hacked to death by PFI SDPI goons. The state government and the state police is supporting and shielding the perpetrators. They can't even uh, give protection to RSS BJP workers in Kerala. Union Minister Murli Dharan also slammed the left government over the law and order situation in Kerala. It shows the deteriorating law and order situation in the state. It is pathetic that the entire state is in the grip of gundas. The police no, is not in control of the law and order situation. There are daylight killings. So I would like to urge the Chief Minister to rein in all such elements. The left has condemned the political killings. Kind of killings in cold blood cannot be accepted as a practice of true politics. politics. It's a practice of communal violence and communal politics, which is mad. This is not for any religion, not for any faith. It is for dividing the people on communal grounds. Meanwhile, the situation in the city remains tense. The local administration has issued prohibitory orders till 20th of April. Political violence is not new to Kerala, but the question is, what will end this politics of blood? Bureau Report, India Today.